Because you have specific terms. Specific terms are very important stuff, in fact. Specific terms helps us to say meaningful things with a short sentence. These are specific terms which are useful when people know all the features. But they are not useful, they are useless and very dangerous in inventive problem solving. Because in inventive problem solving, you work with meaning. You have to change meaning. This is our job. So, we have a conflict in requirements with the specific terms. We have to keep them because they help to be short, but we have to remove them in order to work directly with the meaning. How to? The one of the way we are doing it, this is by replacing our specific terms with some names that are based on the function. For instance, if we have a pencil, the pencil function can be defined as the first approximation to write to draw. Okay? If we try to define it more precisely, like we already discussed, where noun plus some adjectives in order to improve the meaning. In this case, we obtain something like draw letters, or it can be another function like supply ink to the paper. And this, before we will be on this point, how can we use this result to rename our pencil? Instead of pencil, we will have something. Drawer. Sorry for linguistic people, because sometimes we can obtain very strange name that has no place in dictionary, but it has place in inventive problem solving, because it keeps us in a link with the context, but in some, at the same time it uh, gives freedom, freedom to our mental nature, to our thinking inside of the book. For instance, you see the excavator, the machine on the road. Okay. What does it do if I try to express it at the web? It dig, dig soil. Okay. In this case, we have a digger. Kind of childish work. But the digger can help us to invent new working principle of excavator. Because we are limited from our picture of about excavator. Our drawer, it's not pencil anymore. It can be finger. Do you remember the presentation you attended at the first, uh, the first evening? It can be finger. It can be anything. You need to draw. It's a drawer. It's not pencil anymore. In order to check the quality of function definition, we use supplementary rule. You have to reformulate this function, but in terms of verbs, you are limited. You are allowed to choose just one. Change. Nothing more. Here you have a draw, you, have, you can use any verb, but here you, have, you are allowed to use just one. Change. What are you changing when, when you draw in letters? You change the color. If this definition match with this one, I mean they are linked by meaning, and this is meaningful, so you can be sure that this function is defined correct. Sometimes you arrive at from the first attempt, sometimes from the third or fifth attempt. But they have to match. They have to match and they have to describe what your pencil means in your situation, in your problem. Why it is so important this definition of function change and feature? Because it has strong connection, and uh, Alexander will uh, work with you about, with our X element and with our in the model. Do you remember what do we have in this list? We have features. We change color. 
In fact, this is one of the features that our element that we have conflicting requirements has to satisfy. So we still keep link between all the components. Our specific terms are linked with what we try to solve through their features. 